Alright guys, today we're here to take a look at NBA Playgrounds 2, the sequel to NBA Playgrounds 1, which I actually kind of like that game. It came out on the Nintendo Switch and all the other platforms as well. But this game actually has the backing of 2K, who actually bought them out and actually let them, you know, put more into this game than the first one had. But did it actually pan out? Let's go ahead and find out. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a recce is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, welcome to NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. This is on the Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and take a look at this game here. Now this is obviously a sequel to the original NBA Playgrounds. This studio was actually now bought by, um by uh, 2K after the, the, the second one. It actually was bought pretty late too because they were about to release this game, uh, Playgrounds 2, and then they literally delayed it like a couple of weeks before because 2K ended up, you know, buying them and able to, you know, put their resources into the game, added a lot more players and, and you know, just optimize the game and stuff like that. Um, so, let's go ahead and check out what's new here. So, uh, we have your exhibition game that we had last year. You have these get packs things that they had last year as well. Now you can get, uh, there's a couple of things you can get. You could unlock the whole entire roster, which I really appreciate on here. It ends up being $10 if you want to. So the game costs 30 or you can just pay 40 and basically unlock every character in the game. I didn't do that. That's why it's still sitting there. And instead of doing that, you can just, you know, buy these packs that you, you know, get as you go and you can unlock new players, which I like doing it that way. You can see here, my, I'm level five with uh, 3,170 seven coins there um and then you can earn these coins just by leveling up and stuff and these are just like clothes for your actual characters so instead of them just wearing your jerseys and stuff so uh you do earn uh coins at a decent rate not a fast rate but a decent rate and uh you know i like playing the game so i don't really have any issue with you know if the ten dollars is there if you want and it's not a big deal make pretend the game is forty dollars and then you have all the characters and i still think the game is worth it because it reminds me very much of nba playgrounds or sorry nba jam uh and you'll see that here in a minute so another thing that they added here is nba season so you can go in and take two people run through the whole entire season and it's nice because i'm starting a season with the lakers and every single team has a person uh from back in the day that you're unlocking so once you i beat the season with the lakers i unlock a specific character for that um, so that always gives you an incentive to play and if you obviously use the unlock system for 10 bucks that's not there because you'll have every player now and every play that they ever release for free automatically without having to earn them in any sort of way so um they obviously another big thing that they added is the three-point contest which is pretty cool you can play it offline against uh you know to mess around and stuff but the big the big thing that they added is uh the playgrounds championship basically what that is is a ranking system for online like you see a lot of other games here what's nice is they have either the three-point contest uh they have a cooperative game so you can play 2v2 against you know two of um, online so you can hook up with somebody else online and then play with uh, the computer or you can do a competitive game and you can either do that either uh, you versus one of the person so the AI controls one of your players because it's always 2v2 on the teams but the AI controls the other player or you can do you know 2v2 with four players actually playing them and you know based on actually let me show you based on what you actually select you know you have a ranking system and stuff so if I did cooperative play you'll come in here and you'll see you know what division you're in and stuff like that and how many points i haven't played cooperative i've played competitive a few matches online so you'll see here you know i played two and i won twice so you'll see my 80 points on here you can see all your stats and your history and all that stuff which is pretty cool um and yeah so let's go ahead and get into a match here uh you can do obviously 2v2 locally if you want so you can play with local players uh i am going to you can even invite your friends online so you can easily just play with your friends uh, I am going to just do CPU, of course. You can go in here and change all the settings. You can uh, select which one of these you want. You can see all the different ones that they have. Santa Monica, Grand Canyon, Moscow, Hong Kong. So they have uh, 10 different courses on here, which is cool. So for this one, we'll just leave it here. Choose the game length. You can even uh, customize all the lottery picks that do all these things so that it tells you what all of them do. Doubles the points for, for dunks. Your players don't lose stamina. Shot clock gets cut in half. You know, all these different things in here. Um, you can even change the balls that you're using. 
go ahead and mess around with the... Uh... And actually what I just remembered is they actually added an update to this game. Or, it's not on the Switch yet, actually. The uh, Halloween update's coming to this soon. Change the difficulty level and stuff like that. Uh, so what's nice about this game is, obviously I haven't unlocked a lot of people on here. Um, I actually have this game twice. I have it on the Switch when I'm on the go and stuff like that, which is obviously what we're reviewing it on. I actually also have this game on the Xbox One as well. Uh, I know on here Kevin Durant was the first one of the first players I unlocked. And who was the other person that was good at, well not good, but okay at three pointers? This guy right here. This ball, my boy. Uh, this one will just choose diamond player. And you can see here, that's how the shot um, clock works in this one, uh, which is what they updated the first one too. I actually liked the first game. I know some people didn't. I actually liked it, especially after they updated it with the shot clock and stuff. I thought the first game was a pretty good game. I definitely got my 10 bucks worth. My, my, I believe the first game was $10, and I definitely got my $10 worth. This game is way much improved just with not only just the things I talked about, but there's now over 400 players in the game, and they're always apparently going to be updating it because 2K is behind it now. So they'll have, you know, money to push them through that. But oh, it's already over 400 people in the game, which is way more than what they had in the first game. So I am courtside today. Cash Nasty is on the mic from Nasty Crew Mission Control. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Y'all know what time it is, man. We're in the park right now. Oh, give me that. Oh, that was terrible. He just enjoyed his smoke. He grabbed the rocket ship with his teammate. Paul. Really? really though that 70 percent wasn't good enough for me. oh that should have been a block Looking like fools out here right now. You knew somebody was gonna score. Signature fadeaway, and he's still okay. We're starting off terribly. Off of us or curse, so that's not gonna do it. Take that back. Got him. Let's see if I can show you guys a self alley -oop. That probably ups are a little bit hard to pull off. Yeah, that didn't work out. Like I said, they're a little hard to pull off. That's the shit. Got him. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, he missed though. Tried to give the computer an alley oop, and he does that to me. Oh, look at that move though. I haven't seen that in the game. 
That really just... Oh, man. That would have been a perfect time for itself. I don't know why I didn't do it. Oh, here it is. Oh, man. Come on with that. So what's tricky about the self alley -oop now is not only is it a little bit difficult to pull off, because obviously it should be, but when the second guy comes up to get that alley-oop, you still have to hit the shot with that shot meter, so it makes it a little hard, because you're already holding the button down to get that self alley-oop, and then you have to remember to let it go at the perfect time. Sometimes you just get too excited and then... This ain't looking good. I don't know why I shot that three one there anyway. That was terrible. You thought you could make that? He crashes the board and clears it out to his teammate. I keep missing that three though. I can't get anything to go. Still doing terrible though. How is that gonna miss? That was like at 80%. God damn it. That's something to get used to in this game too, but I kind of like it, you know, obviously some frustrating points sometimes. But. Um, oh, I got a times three over there. Hold on, I got a constant. I can might be pull this off. Of course, I don't get the rebound. Oh no, he's got a shot that will make them out of Ain't that some nonsense. He would get that at the exact same time. That was an 85% and he still missed that jump shot. Like I said, those aren't guarantees, they're just, you know, high possibility. And, oh, that was a Didn't do well. But well, what's nice is you always uh, you always level up your characters and stuff, so you always uh, make their stats a little bit better. You can see them leveling up, and that's how you get more of your um, your coins and stuff. I barely got anything there because not only did I not win, but you get a lot more coins when you actually play against people online, whether you win or lose easily. You get like a thousand, or usually a thousand is where it hovers when you play somebody online. Um, definitely get a little bit more when you win, but you get substantially more than if I just played an exhibition match like I just showed you. Um, so that's basically uh, like an idea of what NBA Playgrounds is like, uh, especially on the Nintendo Switch is what we're playing on. This obviously also exists on the PS4 and the Xbox One X, which I've also played it on there. So I'm going to go ahead to the table uh, and give you guys my final thoughts on this game and if it's worth your time or mine. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, guys, so that was NBA Playgrounds 2. Uh, obviously a sequel to the first NBA Playgrounds that came on the Switch that actually, if you remember back in the day, actually had a lot of problems. Uh, I actually still enjoyed the game. It was only, I believe, if I remember correctly, a $10 game when the first one came out. This is now a $30 game, but there's substantially more content here than the first game. Um, basically, this game was supposed to come out in May, and basically like a week or two before, like they didn't come out with the game at all, and then it was because 2K obviously bought them out, and now they have you know 2K branding behind it and stuff like that, and it definitely helps them because there's over 400 players in the game now. They're always adding new features uh, to the game. There's our Halloween update that's already out for the Xbox and the PS4 coming to the Switch here soon because uh, patches and stuff take longer on the Nintendo side uh, where they're adding a couple of new characters and, uh, you know, some some different things in there uh, like some of the other games do with their halloween themed events and stuff like that. So the support hopefully will continue. Hopefully the game is selling well. I actually obviously don't know how good, good the game is selling. But what I can tell you is that this game is a lot of fun to play. Um, if you're into the NBA Jam, it's not exactly an NBA Jam because it's not that arcadey. It's like a little bit more than the halfway. Than the halfway, it's like somewhere. So if NBA 2K is here, the regular NBA 2K game is here, um, and the middle point is here, and NBA Jam is here, NBA Playground sits somewhere in the middle of the right side of that. 
Um, it is very arcadey, obviously, but the, there's still some things in there, like the shot meter, that you're like, oh, there's a shot meter in this game. I wouldn't expect it to be a shot meter in a game like that's trying to emulate, like, you know, NBA Jam and stuff like that. But I actually like the shot meter. They added it to the first game in an update, and I think it improved the game a lot because it, it, it gave you an idea and it let you know what you could do better. So you knew if you got 100% because you aimed it perfectly and you got the exact point, which is hard to do, then you know it's a 100% chance to go in there, and, you know, the meter there works really well. Um... Obviously, all the characters that they added, like I said, over 400 uh, people in the game, that's really good. Uh, they added the, you know, with 2K, they added, obviously, the more packs and stuff like that. But you can just pay $10, guys, and unlock every character from here on out that's in the game now and then coming later. And you don't have to worry about any of that, and you can just worry about getting the cosmetic stuff instead, which is just, like, uh, different clothing and stuff like that for the characters. Uh, not the characters, I keep saying characters, for the people in the game. Um... So you could do it that way, or you could just do what I did. I didn't buy either one, and I'm just unlocking it as I go. You get about, like I said, 900 to 1,000 points every time you play an online match. So that's usually what I keep seeing uh, given out as far as what those are called, what you're getting as far as the currency. It's definitely a lot less if you're just playing offline and you're just playing an exhibition game like you saw. But if you're playing online and stuff like that, you, you get them pretty, pretty decently quickly, um, and you're always getting something new, so that's nice. Um... Graphics on the Nintendo Switch on the TV are definitely better than they are on portable. It looks a lot. Uh, it doesn't look as fuzzy and, and blurry as it does on handheld. It definitely looks blurry on handheld, um, but it's still a, an improvement off the first game. And I say that because um, I know there's some controversy with it looking a little bit blurrier than the first one. I don't see that. I think this game looks better, and you can tell the detail. There's a lot more detail in the environments behind the scenes, which is really cool. Uh, that they added onto the Switch, which definitely makes it look a little bit better just because the environment has a lot more detail. The characters, in my opinion, look a little bit better. Um, but like I said, it is a little bit blurry, um, but nothing that impeded my enjoyment of the game. It's just something I want to let you guys know that it is a little bit blurry on the handheld mode. When you play it on the TV, it's not blurry at all. Uh, it runs really well, no issues at all. Um, as somebody who played the Xbox One X version, of course it looks a lot better on the Xbox One X. It's not 4K on the Xbox One X, uh, at least not yet. I don't know if they're going to, but it's definitely not. But it still looks really good and obviously substantially better than the Switch does. But uh, that's why I got both versions. Because when I'm home, I usually play on the Xbox, especially if I want to play with friends 2v2 locally and stuff like that. But nothing beats playing this game when you're you know, on the road and stuff like that and I'm at home and, and want to play this game. Because I actually like this game a lot. And I definitely recommend it to people who are into arcade basketball to definitely check this game out. Uh, just, you know, as long as the graphics don't bother you on the Switch portably, um, just know that going in there, it's still a lot of fun to play. And like I said, it didn't hamper my experience, just something to throw out there. Um, but as far as everything else, I think the value is there. It's $30, like I said, $10 more if you want of the character, so $30 without that. And I'm getting my $30 worth. Like I said, I bought it twice. I bought it on the Switch on the Xbox, and I'm loving every minute of it. Um, they improved the game tenfold compared to the first one with updated graphics on both. Uh, hell of a lot more different characters. We got the three-point contest so you can play online and stuff like that. You can play your friends online very easily. They have the playground championship stuff so you can like level up and stuff to continue getting uh, your, your rank higher on online, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think they did a really good job in this game. And uh, I don't really mind the, the, um, the player packs and stuff. If that bothers you, pay. Pay the extra $10 and all you're stuck with is the cosmetics. And, and the cosmetics mean nothing because it's just changing the player clothes. If you, if you don't care about that stuff and you want to unlock it like you go, like I am, then you could do that too. It's either way, it's your option. Um, so yeah, that's basically what the game is like, guys. If I missed anything, of course, leave it down below. That's NBA, NBA Playgrounds 2, and uh, that's on the Nintendo Switch and also available on the Xbox One X and the PS4. That is my review. Definitely recommend it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Tech, gaming tech, is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the game.